was only 11 years old in 1947, so I really, you know, wasn't fully aware of all the social implications. But, but I, I was at Ebbets Field the first game he played for the Dodgers, and I don't remember that it was that big a deal. Uh, you know, the Dodgers had tied with the Cardinals in 1946 for the pennant, and we lost it in a playoff. So, you know, when 47 came, all we were looking forward to was, can we beat the Cardinals this year? And the Dodgers had two rookies, third baseman named Johnny Jorgensen and a first baseman named Jackie Robinson. And all anybody cared about was, can these guys play? Growing up in Brooklyn in the 40s and early 50s, you know, baseball and the Dodgers were like a religion. Football wasn't of any significance. Baseball was the, was the biggest thing that anybody had. And here comes Robinson, trying to steal home. He's safe, says the ump. Jackie Robinson was the most exciting player. Deep in the left center. Probably the best all-around player was Willie Mays. The best hitter I've ever seen was Ted Williams. But Robinson was the most exciting player. Just for, you know, the only thing that I've ever seen close to Robinson in terms of excitement was Minnie Minoso. They were the same type of player. Taking the extra base, uh, stealing bases, Bunting where a bunt was necessary. He could beat you with a bunt, a home run, a, uh, a stolen base. He, he, he was just, just an exciting, electrifying player. I came very close to meeting Jackie Robinson. It was, it was a, a really dark day when I didn't meet him. I was at a sold out game with a friend of mine. We had general admission seats. I don't know if we were playing the Giants or what it was. And some guy came by and said, hey, would you kids like to be on a Jackie Robinson show? And of course, being you know savvy, Brooklyn street kids that we were, we said, ah, you're just trying to get our seats. So we, we just, we wouldn't move. We just sat there, you know, uh, waiting for the game to start. And two kids came walking by and said, hey, we just been on the Jackie Robinson show. That's, that's as close as I came to meeting Jackie. Of course, I met Rachel and I met, you know, his daughter Sharon many times. Baseball integrated before America integrated. You know, he came to the perfect place. Brooklyn was the perfect place because we were an integrated city. And he just, you know, he, he just fit right in. But. He opened the door for an awful lot of an awful lot of people who eventually would have gotten there. I mean, you know, there's no question if Robinson hadn't integrated baseball, somebody else would have. It might have been years, and if it hadn't been the right person, it might have been a lot of years. And you know, Martin Luther King, of course, has said many times that the, that the things that he was doing, were, you know, were based upon Jackie Robinson.